Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to give you just a quick pretty makeup tutorial with a palette that I realized I've had sitting around for quite a while. I've talked about filming with it probably a month or two ago and I still hadn't done it yet. So today we filmed with the Double Entendre palette from ColourPop. It is a super neutral palette with some pretty little shimmers in it. And I figured what better to do than give you a cute, smoky, neutral look with some a little darker than nude lips, I guess. So yeah, that is what I decided to do today. It is a voiceover tutorial. Sorry, I know some people don't like those. But honestly, that is the easiest way for me to get the best application because if I'm talking while I'm doing my makeup, I don't focus as well. So that's what we did today. Um, we are just not going to ramble and we are going to go straight into this video. So here you go, you guys. Okay guys, so the first color is locked and loaded. I'm just using this to set down my MAC paint pot and put it all over the lid and the crease just to get everything ready to go. Then I'm going into extracurricular. It's kind of an orangey tone and I use this on a big fluffy brush and put it all in my crease. I made sure that with this color I got it blended in really good since this was the base for basically the entire look. So I went in a couple of times and made sure I got everything as pigmented as I needed. Then I went into hard, which has got more of a reddish tint to it, kind of coppery. And I put this right on top of extracurricular to build up that pigment and get a deeper crease, which is what I always want. Y'all already know how that works. And I just blended it out really nicely. Then I went into teddy bear. And I used this more in the outer corner, but I did drag it across a little bit and get it just on the outer edge of the lid. This gave me the deepest part of my look and really smoked out that crease to the extreme. Then I took hard again on a small brush and lined my lower lash line with it because that was the one of the staple colors in the look and it really connected the crease to the lower lash line. Then I took Keep It PG, which is a gorgeous shimmer and using my finger, tapped it all over the lid to give me that shine. Again, this is kind of like one of my old school looks, but that's how I really test a neutral palette. I do my favorite basic look with it and just change it up a little to see how it turns out. And then I went into Flasher, and I used this to highlight my brow bone. It is a very light color with just a tiny bit of shimmer, so it was perfect. Okay, you guys, so the makeup is done. I added some gold liner to my waterline, mascara, lashes, and of course a lippy and some highlighter. Since we are using ColourPop today, we also use my favorite ColourPop, Flexitarian. Y'all know I love that highlight. I don't use it too often because, dear God, this is one layer and it is so blinding. But it is one of my favorites, so we used that today. Here is a final look at how the makeup turned out. And I am so excited about this look I absolutely love it it is perfect just to like go out and do something you're still glam but you're not too crazy it's all neutral colors but it is just so pretty i love it but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more tutorials on this palette or if you have suggestions of ones you want to see in the future leave those down in the comments i'm always looking for new things to film and even new things to purchase to film with as well though I do have a really big collection of palettes and I never know which ones y'all want to see. So just let me know what palettes you're interested in down there and I will get some more tutorials coming your way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, and I will see y'all in a couple of days. Bye you guys.